Welcome! In this video we are going to take a look at the... Uh, we are going to continue our PySize journey. So we are going to create a small GUI application which is going to have a text box and a button and whatever you write in a text box is going to be written in a file. So we would like to import the sys module and from PySize 6 we would like to import the queue line edit and we need to use the QT widgets and the Q push button and the Q application and the Q V box layout the Q dialog. Now we can create our form application we have the Q dialog and we would like to have the init function with the parent equals none and we would like to call the super on the form self underscore init parent so, uh, hold on for a minute so super communicate self and the parent I'm just going to try out something from the pre previous video. Wow, that was the problem. So, if you are disappointed based on my previous video, that's the solution. All right, let's continue with the, this one. So we will have the edit text box and say something to the file and the button is Q push button show greetings or send to file and we will have a layout which is going to be vbox layout and we will add widgets to the layout so self.edit and layout add widget self dot button and the self dot layout set layout is going to be layout. Now <coughs> we need to use or register an event for the button and let's call this greetings. So we will have the greetings function and what it is going to do is to open up a file. So dialog.txt with the append mode as file and use the file.write with the f string and we would like to send out the self.edit.txt and now we can create our Q application sysargv and the form and we can show the form and use the sys.exit up exec all right let's try to run it so now we have the uh, application running and we can click on it and you can see the dialog text file created and we can send new stuff to the file. What I need to fix, I believe, is that when we send out something to the file, we should add a new line character. So let's stop it. Let's delete the file and now we can restart it and this is cool and we have the file this is the next line oh and another 
line. Let's see if we can add the new line character. Oh, that is going to be literally taken. So that was all I wanted to show you in this video. This is how you can create a small dialog box and send stuff to the file. See you in the next